Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use PWM modules of ESP32 and ESP8266 using MicroPython. In the last 3 to 4 articles we have discussed GPI opens as a digital input and as a digital output using an LED blinking and push button interfacing examples. And we have also seen one examples to see how to use ADC of ESP32 and ESP8266 using MicroPython programming language. So now let's get started and see how to use PWM module of these ESP boards. So I have already posted a complete in-depth article on PWM for ESP32 and ESP8266 on my website. You can visit the website and I have provided the link of that article in the description of this video. So first let's see the example of PWM. So here this is this is the MicroPython script to generate PWM on ESP32 or ESP8266. First of all we have to import pin and PWM classes from machine module of MicroPython pin module or pin classes contains definitions or methods to control GPI opens and similarly PWM class contains methods and functions to control or generate PWM. After that we have import the time module which contains sleep methods and some other methods also and sleep is used to generate a delay. For example here we are using sleep to generate a delay of around 100 millisecond. So first of all to generate a PWM with ESP32 for example we need to use one of the output pin of ESP32. For ESP32 all GPIO pins which can be used as a digital output pins can be used to generate a PWM. For example here we have created an object of PWM class and and define the name of that object is LED. So the first argument to this PWM method is the pin number to which we want to use as a PWM output and the second argument is the frequency. So here we are using GPIO 14 of ESP32 as a PWM pin and the frequency of the PWM will be 5 kilohertz or 5 kilohertz frequency and similarly you can uh, add more uh, frequencies like 150 and 200 but there is a maximum and minimum limit for frequency of the frequency of PWM which we can generate with the SP32 output pins and I have mentioned that limit and some other features in the article which I have published on my website. So this method is used to initialize PWM pin and its frequency. We can also pass a third argument to this, this method which is the duty cycle. But if you do not pass the third argument by default the duty cycle will be zero. Because we are going to set the duty cycle inside of a while loop therefore here we will set it we will not give that, that argument of duty cycle and here the D2 cycle value will be 0. Now in MicroPython we use while loop like this and here we are using for loop to generate a duty cycle in the range of 0 to 1024. The reason we have choose 0 to 1024 range that is because the ESP32 implementation for PWM in MicroPython provides duty cycle range in from 0 to 1023 and here this range method will start will execute this loop starting from 0 starting from 0 and ending on 1023 because it will not as soon as this loop iteration will reach 1023 these statements will not execute but the range of duty cycle is between 0 to 1023 and we want to go from 0 to 1023 that is why we have 
we have written here 1024 that is one extra than the maximum limit of duty cycle uh, for PWM signal of PSP32. After that we are using this duty method. Duty method is basically used to uh, assign a duty cycle to the PWM to the PWM and here we are we are using this method by using but with the help of uh, object LED which we have already created. Now by passing the duty cycle value to this method it will it will start generating a PWM uh, according to this value this value of range. For example the first time when this loop will execute we will have a zero duty cycle and then then this print statement will print the duty cycle and it, then it will go for sleep for 0.1 second and the next time uh, when this loop will execute here the value of range will be incremented to 1 so here we will get the uh, PWM, PWM with duty cycle of 1 and so on it will it will keep uh, and so on this pattern will keep repeating but the value of range or the duty cycle will keep increasing now let's uh, connect our ESP32 board with our computer and click on this connect button so these this shows that we our board has connected now click on the on the download and run button and let's try again here you can see the value of duty cycle is increasing one by one and as you can also see the LED brightness is also increasing and the LED first will glow with lowest brightness then it will complete it will uh, keep increasing according to the duty cycle value because 0% uh, duty cycle means uh, no uh, pulse, pulse width and 01023 means uh, maximum pulse width and that means the high, highest brightness of LED. So now let, let, let it go from uh, to its maximum value then after the maximum value you will note that the LED will uh, again start to glow from its lowest brightness. As you can see the brightness of LED is increasing step by step as as soon as the duty cycle is increasing so is uh, the brightness of LED is increasing. Maybe I should have used uh, the low delay but that's fine. As soon as this value will reach to 1023, it's roll over to 0 again. As you can also see, the brightness of LED is also increasing. Here you can see it start roll over to zero again now uh, let's stop this code and now let's see the output on the oscilloscope instead of L uh, LED so now uh, let me connect uh, my ESP32 GPI14 output to oscilloscope now let's again uh, download and run the code as you can see on the oscilloscope the pulse width is increasing from 0 to uh, 0 percent to 1 percent 20 30 and it will go up to 100 percent so this is how we can generate a PWM uh, with the help of ESP32 and ESP826 using micro Python programming and I have also included one more example in that article which I have published on my website uh, that is related to controlling LED brightness with the help of a potentiometer using uh, ADC and pulse width modulation and uh, hopefully we'll also post a uh, video demo in it, on it uh, next time so thanks for watching this video so see you uh, next time with another video